Okay, so it's 2.05, so I think we'll get going. So thank you everybody for joining today. And we're really delighted that we have this opportunity to celebrate our volunteers during National Volunteer Week. Um, of course, we'd much rather do it in person. And I've been looking back at pictures from uh, volunteer appreciation teas since 2011 when I arrived and so many great memories. So looking forward to being able to do that again, hopefully next year. Um, we have a fairly simple agenda. I'm just going to pull it up pretty quickly, hopefully. And there it is right there. Uh, so as I say, pretty simple. So um, I think we'll get started right away and uh, we'll move over to Lana. And I'm, I, I think I'll stop sharing so we can see everybody's faces. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to this event. I'm actually thrilled that we're having this. Um, Emily reached out, it's volunteer week, what are we going to do? And um, we decided on this event and a beautiful card and, and uh, the flowers signifying spring, although don't look outside today. Forget today. It's our last, uh, it's our last snow, so spring is, is coming around the corner. Anyways, I just wanted to say you guys are missed and you're not forgotten. Can you believe like it was a year last month? It just seems an incredible amount of time. Um, I appreciate everything that you guys have done in the last year to tell help at the hospital, always inquiring, um, always willing to do whatever is needed. Um, and, uh, you know, from creating the, uh, the bags for nurses clothes and and doing the dolls or whatever that was needed. That sidewalk sale, it was really cold, but anything that uh, you guys uh, um, can do, you've been willing to do. And I also appreciate, I know we've reached out a couple of times. I've had some conversations with Linda about, you know, when do we see on the horizon that you guys can return? And, you know, we might have started thinking of the b Remember last year, and then it just got January this year, just got longer and longer. Um, but uh, you should be very proud of your executive. Um, they're reached out a few times, want to be proactive. So get in touch with us a few months ahead of time before when you think and want to work out to make sure you guys are safe. Um, and uh, we're doing a lot of um, uh, that type of planning here in the hospital. So we just appreciate you guys being so proactive about that. So I just want to say that uh, it's really nice to see your faces. Um, and maybe we can do this again and when, when we have uh, news to share. But um, I just want to celebrate you all on this volunteer week. So thanks, everybody. We miss you guys seeing your faces all the time. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I like that, Richard. Okay, I'm going to thank you very much, Lana. I'm going to share my screen again. We put together a little slideshow. Uh, it's seven minutes long, so uh, sit back and I hope you'll enjoy it. You'll see lots of familiar faces. Uh, just bear with me for a second. Okay. Hi volunteers, we miss you all so much. We can't wait for you to come back. We hope you're all staying very safe and enjoying the lovely April sunshine.
Okay, and that's it. That was a great trip down memory lane. <laughs> nice. I think it makes all of us miss all of you that much more. And certainly as somebody that was at the coffee shop just about every day, um, you know, that's just been a big change in my life. So I know we all can't wait to get back to our normal life. So I'm going to now ask uh, Linda to say a few words. Okay, well, on behalf of the volunteers, first of all, we want to thank you for taking the time from your busy schedules to recognize people that have basically been out of the picture over the last year. Please know that we really appreciate your quick action at the forefront of this pandemic and realize that at the time your decisions were based on future. It wasn't a reaction to something ever experienced from the past and little did any of us ever think that it would last this long and longer. But with that said, when, not if, but when we return, we do anticipate many changes to our procedures. Together we'll have to be creative in establishing new criteria to fulfill our mandate and our mission. When can we again serve the hospital, its staff and patients in our community? How do we raise funds to help purchase hospital equipment? that's related to patient care? Who is going to support pastoral care? What is the best way to create a favorable hospital mindedness in the community? Are there other methods of supporting teen and adult volunteer programs in the hospital? What can we do to enhance the efficacy of the tribute fund? As we maintain our social distancing and remain off site, our thoughts often roam to these questions, at least they certainly do to me. We need to get our creative juices flowing and think of solutions to some of these questions. Ideas that when the time is right can be administered and lead us back to being an effective piece of the puzzle hopefully that can be reconstructed at the hospital. In the meantime, we very much appreciate that beautiful package we received in our mailbox. It was a pleasant surprise to open something beyond the regular bills and flyers, I can tell you that. And a special shout out and thank you to Emily for making the soaps for us. They're actually too pretty of a package to open and use. <laughs> so I don't know, I, hopefully other volunteers will have something to offer or share in our discussion part of the program. But for me, I just, want to say that we miss being at the hospital and we do hope that the hospital misses some of our services. We are anxious to get back. If we could get enough vaccine to get that 80% herd immunity, it would be a wonderful thing. And we do look forward to that day. Thank you very much, Linda. Does anybody want to comment now or should we save uh, comments till the end? Okay, well, in that case, um, Frank, I would invite you now to say a few words. Sorry, Frank, I'm not sure if you heard me. Sorry, I didn't hear you, Jenny, you broke up there. I'm not sure if other people oh. heard you. It's my turn now, is it? Yes, my apologies. No, it's okay, no, it's, it's, uh... It's an artifact of the system we're so used to these days, unfortunately. Well, let me start by saying, you know, I, I want to echo um, Linda's comments uh, about the longevity of this pandemic. I don't think any of us at the outset thought it would last this long. But let me assure you one thing, and I'm sure you folks realize this in your heart of hearts. Um, no matter how long the pandemic lasts, it'll pale... Uh, in comparison to the tremendous tenure of your service, uh, you know, now counting 60 years and more here at KDH. So 
uh, that's a tremendous uh, record that uh, I don't think anybody would, would attempt to break, except you folks by getting a 61st year, of course, and onwards. Um, you know, when I, when I think back to what I, what I miss the most, um, just let me reminisce a little bit. I do miss the red vests. Uh, in my mind, uh, the red vest uh, represents joy and, and caring. And um, I've said it once, I'll say it again, um, and many times in the future, um, you can't begin to believe how comforting uh, the volunteer greeting is when a patient comes to the hospital for service. Keep in mind, whether you're in your merge or you're coming in for a, a clinic procedure or a surgery, it's not a pleasant experience. People would rather go to a theme park or a restaurant or playground. Uh, so having that greeting is so essential to setting the tone, setting the expectation that the care matters here. And you folks are the purveyors of that care at the outset. So uh, again, that's a tremendous value and, and uh, I, I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, I, miss, I miss the heyday. I miss heyday. I miss my CEO raffle. Uh, I miss competing with uh, with um, all of the folks, whether it's Brenda or Connie, and uh, you folks cheat like crazy. I know you do. I know you don't sell as many tickets as I do. You're putting your own money in to try and you know beat me. I, you know, I appreciate that. It's all good it's for a good cause. Uh, but I just want to stick that. The jig's up. I know what you're doing. Um, I miss a great cup of coffee. I, you know, you forced me to go to Starbucks now. I used to love getting lattes, and I used to love that you let me make it myself. Um, I, I love shopping at the gift shop. Uh, and, and full disclosure, I've got to be honest with you, I, I, I really love shoplifting at Secondhand Rose. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much jewelry I got from my mom before she passed, and uh, I just had to come clean. I really can't live with myself anymore. So I, I hope you come back uh, in, in the fold soon. I need more jewelry. Um, I really, um, you know, I really do miss um, just just hanging out with you folks. You know, I uh, between meetings and as I'm walking down the hall, I always like kidding uh, with you folks, and and um, you know that's that's a big part of who I am. I'm very social. Uh, you you can tell I, I like getting around, and it's very restrictive that I'm here you know, hold up in my office here. Uh, at KDH, but uh, I long for the days when I can walk around and visit with you folks. But more importantly, to Jenny's and other folks' comments, uh, Linda's comments as well, uh, we long for the days when you're back amongst us and we could we could be free uh, to um, even hug each other. You know, I know it's probably not politically correct, but a hug every now and then goes a long way. So we I, we long for those those days and. Um, you know, last but not least, I, I want to comment, uh, I did this at, or in an earlier meeting, uh, the tremendous uh, donation that you provided this year. We weren't expecting 40 cents, let alone $40,000. And and the work that you've done in a very innovative, creative way, we could learn from you folks in terms of your brainstorming. And, and I know you got together with, with all of your uh, organizers and planners to to plan these activities and I can't tell you how meaningful that is to us it, it, it represents of course the financial aspect that we could use to, to buy things for the hospital that really translates into frontline care but it means that you folks are willing to go to great lengths and be innovative and creative and work extra hard to to, to, to you know raise that that money, that those funds, and that means an awful lot to us. And I really can't um, say enough how much we missed you. Uh, we want to keep you safe. That's first and foremost uh, on our minds. And um, you know, I think I'm hoping. I, I, I don't quote me on this, but I'm hoping, as someone referenced earlier, that when we get to that herd immunity um, percentage, uh, 75, 80 percent of our population, we could again, you know, open up and business as usual. But um, until that time, our, our thoughts uh, of you um, are, uh, are with us each and every day. And um, again, thank you for all that you do. And I do hope uh, you're all well. You, you look fantastic. I see everybody that I normally would see. I don't see Andre. Um, <laughs> 
is only someone said Andre is sort of in a day parole program and he's only allowed out to work. Is that true? Was that just a nasty rumor that Brenda was spreading? I don't know, but <laughs> tell, tell Andre we uh, we always kid around. That's what happens when he doesn't show up. We kid around, kid about him. Uh, so again, thank you. Um, I'm here to answer any questions that you might have, and and the rest of the staff uh, miss you as well, and they're here to answer questions. So. Um, if we can be of any help, don't don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Thank you so much, Frank. Yes, cheers. And um, I want to. I just want to say again, um, looking back through all those pictures of the last ten years, some of my happiest memories at KDH have been at volunteer events, uh, hanging out with the volunteers, and you know, just going to get my chocolate every day and, and making that connection, um, you know, just to stop and chat. And, and, and as Frank said, you know, as, um, imagine the impact you've had on all of our patients and families all these years. So thanks again for me. And I just wonder if any other staff would like to say anything or I'll just open it up now. Feel free to unmute yourself and, uh, Start talking in an orderly fashion. <laughs> I just want to say it's Barbara. Uh, and I don't know if Frank can still hear me or not, but he'll remember me even if he can't see the picture. He came in for a latte, started to drink it, put it down on the counter, and took a phone call. But when he came back, his coffee was gone. We wanted to to know where it was, but unfortunately, I pitched it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he knew that or not, he probably. Oh, I knew it. it. <laughs> also, you also uh, sold the coffee that that I bought already to someone else, and you made me buy another one. I think that's how you raise your money, Barbara. Very creative on your part. That's why I never said anything. I think it's going to a good cause. So, so keep up the uh, nefarious illegal activity. It means a lot to the hospital. <laughs> That's what I, <laughs> I was going to say too, I'm worried that you might not have been able to hear the videos very well during the slideshow. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll, I'll post them to our YouTube channel and I'll send the link in case you missed anything. And um, I'm sorry if the sound wasn't so great during that. I don't know if it's my internet, um, but I will do that because those are really um, important messages and I don't want you to, miss a word of them i'm um, jenny i'm uh, really applaud you putting them on youtube because we're sending the link out to everybody then all the vol all the volunteers can watch that and hear that so that's great exactly and I'll, I'll put this whole recording in the same spot great jenny thank you and and to everyone else thank you so much for um the time you've taken to put this together to remember us <laughs> a lot it was a great trip down memory lane for me too. Yeah. I, I, thought, uh, I thought you guys might take a holiday in the last year, but all the <laughs> times you've reached out to us and the activities mm -hmm. you've taken, it just strikes me that just how much uh, top of mind KDH is for all of you and what mm -hmm. that commitment is. And it's just, uh, it's humbling for all of us. and. It should be for the community as well. So congratulations. That's true. Uh, good, well said, Lana and, and Jenny, for sure. And by the way, Jenny, if you're posting this, you may want to delete the shoplifting admission. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be the first. I don't want to be the first resident at the new jail. <laughs> I'm kidding. You leave it in. It's fine. I got to come clean sooner than later. Hi, it's Liz. I just wanted to say, yes, your presence is definitely missed. It's just not the same. Like Frank says, without those red vests, you don't, uh, you don't see you, but you also feel that that presence is missing as well, even though it's just a visual. Um, it's not. Um, I had a pop-up on my calendar for Jolene. This is the time of year you're usually coming to me saying, I need five thousand posters for heyday <laughs> well, and it'll be the first year that i haven't done it well actually no i didn't do it last year but we were so crazy it, yeah. it flipped me we didn't do it last year either <laughs> and um just 
to that note, we're, we want to keep the heyday fundraising going. We're going to keep the heyday fundraising going. We're just trying to work out details of what we can do and how we can do it, how we pivot from a huge garage sale to something online. So stay Fantastic. tuned because we're probably going to have an announcement about that in the next day or so. That's just wonderful. Heyday. Heyday's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be look different. But it's, we're keeping the Heyday logo, the Heyday theme, and because it's everybody knows it. Everybody here in Kempville knows it. Everybody in the surrounding area knows it. And I think they'll be anxious to hear we're back. We just have a different format. That's Very fantastic. good. Well, so I, I might need you to still do some posters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the whole community misses Heyday after 60 years. I oh, see. No. Lynn nodding. Yeah, I think you missed one year when the arena burned down or something, there was a flood or something like that. But otherwise, yeah. it never stopped. No. So we have to bring it back. We're not going to let it ride again this year. I, absolutely. We applaud that for sure. My name is Carol Gaber. And um, I think what I miss the most is the staff in Emerge, as I walked, worked in Emerge, and uh, the patients coming and going. Um, I got great privilege of um, greeting people and supporting them during the times when they came in. So I have to say I miss that the most. Hmm. Thanks, Carol, and I'm sure the I mean, as we've talked about, patients miss those friendly faces and that support and that caring and compassion so much. It's uh, one of our staff uh, was in the ER and just commented what a different experience it is now um, without the volunteers and then with all the COVID precautions on top of that. So um, it's so much harder for patients right now and their families not being able to be with them unless they're essential caregivers. I'd just like to let you all know that um, as the coordinator of uh, prospective volunteers, I've had several um, emails from people who want, had started going through the process of becoming a volunteer. And even now, over a year later, they're still letting me know that they're still interested. And I've had um, two or three of our former student volunteers contact me to see if there's any possibility uh, of volunteering at the hospital over the summer. Wonderful. Great. So on that note, Connie, um, my name is Debbie and I'm new to the hospital. I started just after Christmas, so I haven't had an opportunity to meet or see any of your lovely faces in person. So I'm new here with occupational health and safety. And in my previous hospitals where I worked, I always interacted and worked very closely with the volunteers. So uh, looking forward to meeting all of you. And Connie, I will be at the ready to get all of your new volunteers cleared and in the hospital safely. And I also need that gift shop to open because at two o'clock every afternoon, I am always in search of a decent cup of tea and there is nowhere here to get one currently. So <laughs> I will be looking forward to that. And Frank, feel free to, to pay for my tea if you want, because apparently you <laughs> like to do that for folks. So that's, that's wonderful. Excellent. Who started that rumor about me paying for tea? <laughs> I'd be no, I'm just kidding. I'd be more than happy to purchase tea for you. My pleasure. Oh, this has been so nice. Does anybody else want to make a comment? Oh, yes. Okay. Just before we close up, Jenny, I would just like to say that um, over the past year, as president, I've had a lot of communication back and forth between Lynn and Lana, Liz, you, Jenny, and Frank. And it's just, sometimes I, I feel like you're thinking, stop emailing me, <laughs> but you're always 
so good to respond and give us an answer. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate that you are keeping in touch with us. Thank you, Linda. No, it's never, it's never ever a burden or an inconvenience to hear from you folks. Um, I can't say the same from the minister for the Ministry of Health. Sometimes I don't like their emails, especially if they're not, not pleasant ones, but uh, you're always welcome. So don't hesitate to communicate. You're a big, big, important part of our lives here at KDH. You're part of the KDH family, and uh, that's how family treats each other. So keep, keep those emails coming. Yeah, exactly. Keeps keeps reaching out and staying in touch. Well, I feel like regretfully we have to close and uh, let people get on to their next meetings. But thank you, everybody, from the bottom of our hearts for joining today. And thank you to all our volunteers for everything past, present, and future. And we just miss you so much and can't wait till we're all back together again. We'll Thanks, see, Jenny. We'll see you Bye, at the everybody. Next, with the next open forum. Bye. 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 Bye now. Be safe, everybody.